Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. I'm here with Brian Graham, director of Volo Auto Museum. And Volo Auto Museum has about 300 cars, volocars.com. Come on out, it's a family friendly place. Come on out to Illinois and see this great location with tons of cars. Not only cars, but today we're going to show you the snowmobile room. And the unique thing about the snowmobile room is that it has what? What are we going to look at? Well, we're going to look at a Ford Model T, which is one of the first <laughs> snowmobiles ever built. <laughs> the Ford Model T snowmobile. Okay. Tell me about how do you even come across something like this, yeah. Brian? I mean, well, if you ask 10 different people what the first snowmobile was, you're going to have 10 different answers. This is one of the answers you're going to get, though. Um, in 1923, Ford actually uh, produced a snowmobile. It was available through the Ford dealership. Uh, and it was based off of a custom Ford. What they would do is they would add a second axle in the back and they narrowed the rear axles too. If you look at the overall width of this car, it's much narrower than your standard Ford Model T. That was so that this could go down the, uh, down the trails that your sleds and stuff would go down. Now it was very expensive uh, to have a snowmobile uh, built by Ford because of the, uh, the high cost. Um, a Model T roughly was $500 brand new and it was a thousand dollars brand new to get the snowmobile version so uh, you know the kit doubled the price. And how many of these were originally built you said? There, there was only 75 uh, that you that were built through uh, through Ford. Um, well, again it came with the skis on the front. Uh, it was a two-speed axle because the uh, you know, Model T by itself didn't have enough power to, to power it so the two-speed axle helped out with that. Um, it was mainly mail carriers, trappers, um, you know, people that actually needed to get through the snow for their business uh, or for their livelihood would be the ones that would, would purchase them just because of the, uh, the high cost. That's wonderfully unique. Now, later on, they did offer the the kit aftermarket where you could buy the snowmobile kit and add it to your pre-existing car. Uh, one thing that you'll notice big difference between uh, the cars that were done with the kits and the original ones is the axles. Um, the kit cars, they, they have a much wider stance because they didn't narrow the axles. Much tighter to the body. What's it look like under the hood? Just a regular little four? Just your regular Regular old Model T. Look at that. Boy, that's amazing. All right, let's uh, let's shut that, please. There's your old Ford on the grill. Brian, stay right there. Never a dull moment in the Volo Auto Museum. And these are the little corners that you need to just take your time, come on in and see. Brian, thanks so much for showing us an extremely no unique vehicle. No problem. Thanks for coming out.